Hey folks, we're back with another episode today, replacing the power supply in the Martin Mac Aura. If you don't have experience doing this kind of maintenance, I suggest taking your fixture to a trained professional as doing this kind of maintenance incorrectly could lead to irreversible damage with your fixture. Um, you can get the user manual for this fixture on Martin's website as well as the uh, service manual. I suggest reading both of them before you even consider opening your fixture. So let's jump into it. Um, during Chicago's Lakeshore Drive-In, we had a ground package of Ayrton Perseos and Mac Auras. Now, there was a rainstorm and the Perseos are IP rated, so they survived. Unfortunately, the Aura is only IP 20. So when I brought them back to the shop, got them on my tech bench, I found out that we had blown three power supplies. Uh, it's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. There's a few ways that I diagnosed this problem. One of them was the fixture simply didn't power up, uh, but I knew it was the power supply because there's a red LED in the base that turns on when the power supply is getting power. So here we can see PowerCom plugged in, no power to the head, I can move it freely. So the first thing you're gonna need is a T20 driver. There's four screws on the outer edge of the base that hold the upper enclosure covers on. Remove these four screws and then you can gently lift the outside of the upper enclosure covers, pull them outwards and remove them. Next, you're gonna take out the four screws holding the yoke to the base. With the yoke freed, you'll disconnect the six pin power bus, DMX bus, and the ground wire. This will completely free the yoke from the base, giving you the access you need to remove the power supply. From here, you will need to remove the four screws holding the DMX ports in. You will also remove the four screws holding in the power con ports. Once the screws are removed, you can pull them out of the base entirely after disconnecting the positive and negative cables from the power supply. The fan will also come out. It's just held in with four screws at the front of the base and make sure you disconnect the bus from the power supply. Next, we'll remove the four screws holding in the power supply. You will also need to remove the metal clip holding the bridge rectifier to the base. With all of the hardware and bus connectors removed, you'll see a white tab poking up through the center of the power supply. Pull up on this and gently remove the power supply from the base. The installation of the new board is just the reversal of this process. Install the board first, then reinstall the fan, then reinstall the power con inputs. Finally, we'll reattach the yoke. When you attach the base to the yoke, be mindful of the fixture's home position. Uh, the first time I put the fixture back together, I was actually 45 degrees off of home, and it caused me to have to disconnect the yoke again, rotate the base 45 degrees, and reconnect the yoke. Not the end of the world, but it was a headache.
Once the yoke is reconnected, power up your fixture, make sure it calibrates correctly, and then run it through your tech sequence, and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and make sure you click subscribe.